What's up, folks? Back with another reaction, back with some more Duran Duran, and we're into the final home stretch of Future Past, officially now, meaning I did go back and react to Wing and nothing less after uh, unintentionally skipping them and going to Laughing Boy. Uh, so we now are back into the proper chronology of the lineup, or the, the track listing, and we're going to listen to the uh, 12th track, which is Hammerhead, uh, featuring Ivorian Doll. Now I am curious about this one. I reacted to was I don't know, remember if it was Wing or nothing less, but someone commented on one of those videos and they said, "Curious to hear what you're going to think about Hammerhead because I believe they said there's been mixed opinion about Ivorian Doll's you know contribution to the tune. Don't know that artist. It seems like a lot of the guest artists have been singers. So straight out of the gate, I'm going to maybe um, hypothesize that um, they are a singer, but I don't know that. So um, the tune Hammerhead or the name uh, Hammerhead. Obviously you could think of a shark metaphor, whether in terms of someone's behavior being very predatory or being um, very ruthless once they get their teeth into you, so to speak. Um, but it could, it could not relate to necessarily a human's behavior. It could be a metaphor in a different way. Um, we shall have to see. Uh, but yeah, this is Hammerhead featuring Ivorian Doll from Duran Duran on their 2021 album Future Past. <laughs> Search and destroy Hitting and knocking down The blue in my sky Amen. Night by the blue dragon eye See the great empty space Man shape the vanities Which you lay to waste You're also fading, but no, she didn't fade. Like the music was fading, but then she came in hard and loud as ever right at the end. 
Uh, I like that composition, and again, like a sort of memorable, charismatic end to a song rather than just sort of fading completely. Uh, yeah, that was really cool. I dug it, and again, it had a real deep, like growling low end bass, which I assume that was like actual guitar bass, um, but uh, perhaps it was uh, Nick Rhodes on you know synthesizer bass as well. It, I feel like there was maybe both going on there. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. I enjoyed it. Um, Ivorian Doll's contribution, I like, um, I don't remember if like what they said really was that it was mixed opinion or maybe like they were just curious to hear, you know, um, thoughts on the contribution, but I dig it. I listened to a lot of reggae music, as I said, that had a sort of like reggae, um, flow sort of feel like, um, you know, a toaster sort of dropping lines and sort of, you know, um, timing their delivery to sort of have that like sort of, um, again, kind of like reggae quality. Um, so yeah, I don't know her provenance, I don't know if she's from the UK or if she's um, from um, the Ivory Coast, um, but ultimately, um, yeah, I, I did like her contribution, I did enjoy that section. I didn't know if it was just going to be sort of like, you know, sung or even like breathy whispered moments, because I did hear like very early on, I'm coming for you, but I didn't know if that was going to be the totality of the contribution, but then she got her own section, so yeah, I dug it, I liked it, um, nothing really bad to say about it, and, and in particular, I really did love the low end, the bass just had this like funky, like groovy, but also sort of like hard and like deep sort of quality to it, um, yeah, let me know what you think, let me know if you like that one, or let me know if that's a pass, it is interesting, as I've gone through a number of their albums, um, to hear some people say, you know, not my favorite, but there are parts I like, and so on, and there's even been some people saying, you know, I never really gave this much, uh, this album as much attention, but you know, maybe we'll go through it and perhaps it'll hit me different again. I really love when I read stuff like that because it sort of speaks to my own approach to music. Um, you know, no tune is forever written off in my mind. I'm always willing to re-listen to things and, um, you know, try to find what I consider the positive sort of elements and so on. So big ups to the people who are like enjoying going through Duran's catalog again, perhaps through a new set of eyes and ears, um, and perhaps allowing them to sort of reconsider tunes that, you know, they may have sort of put into one category but now might dust off and reconsider again. I love it. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Other than that, thank you for listening and watching and we'll see you next time.